I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare.
goodness and we are back with another week we had a bye last week so we are doing our second week of nace pretty pretty excited um unfortunately i know our overwatch team is not as excited for this match we're going against the asu sun devils um i don't know if you know anything about this team i'm gonna assume you don't but the team that we are going up against is ranked 11 in the nation so they have they yeah. have quite the expectation um our team if as you can imagine is not ranked 11 in the nation um, and is not ranked 12th in the nation. So, uh, I predict this game to be a little quick, but I do still hope that uh, we do well. Um, I should do introductions. Wow, I got a one week break and I'm already rusty. <laughs> already in How mess. incredible. All right, well, I am Hailstorm. I'm Hail. I'm your one of your Overwatch casters. I am Y. I am filling in for Frostwalker, who is currently out at the moment. Yes, she is not able to be here, but that is okay, because we have 
Y here. So this should be this should be good. All right. So last match recap. Oh my goodness, what happened? What happened? Oh, we had. Why does it look like that? That's okay. We have a, <laughs> some incredible kills coming from J Dog over here. I J Dog had some really good slams last game. He does. He he had some really good. He had a couple super huge plays that were exponential in Mines' success, mm -hmm. even if they still lost the game. They J Dog had some really good ones. Um. Hurts are hard, I guess. My bad. Um. Anyway, so we got some team lineups coming here. So we've got. Okay, I don't. I don't have. Okay, we got Angelic, uh, Aurora, Oath, Scylla or Skilla. I remember that name. Uh, that was from. They were on the team last year. I don't remember their mm -hmm. role, but they were on the team last year. And who? I feel like I remember that name too. I do the, remember the J Man who was I one of their subs. Also remember the J Man and Z Panther on the ASU Sun Devil side, and then we got our typical team with Piggy Power and Viper as our DPS, J Dog as our tank. We have Draconic Snom as our sub for tank, and I think DPS. Um, he's six. a flex role. Yeah, he's flex. Double D and Bibbert as our supports, and we also have Wise Owl, who is also a flex as our substitution as well. So we got some we got some cool cool people. I'm excited to see what happens. Um What is your prediction for this game? I don't want to gotta be hurt nice. my Wait. my team here. I know, I know. Um ASU I actually looked it up and it is predicted for them to be number nine this year. Over number we eleven in the nation. Um, yeah, yeah, we're not. That, I do we're not that feel guy. like we might get a point or two, though. They have been playing better since last semester, That's especially true. with their new rush comp, which they have been working on. They've been working really hard on it, and it's really cool to see because it works with their playstyle really, really well. It definitely does. I'm not going to lie, I don't have as much faith, but I'm trying to be really <laughs> nice about it. That is... Because that is I told fair. them I'd be nice about it. I, I mean, do to think be fair, they could get one point. One of them did have a vision one night. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, Double D, one of, the, one of our support players, had... A weird dream, a, very a weird, weird dream. vision, you could say, a very about this game. Uh, it had team cops, it had points, it had a very weird team cop because, as you know, Double D is our support player. He and was on his Diva. Dream, he was on Tank on Diva. Yes. Uh, so a little strange. Who? What else was there on this in this weird dream? Because I remember there was, it was some other really weird things. It was very in detail. There was I a Reaper. There was a Reaper. There was an Ana. There was. It was Anna. one of the weirdest comps. It was a very odd comp. So if you ever hear us say, "Oh, it's the Drake comp," yeah, but I have to remember what it is first in order to say that. I mean, if we see Drake on a diva, I think we'll know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see that happening though. I'll be real with you. I'll be real with you. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, as funny as it would be, mm -hmm. but but in its vision, they did win. That's that's though they got at least two points. But I do I do think that we could win at least one point because last year when we played them when we weren't as good mm -hmm. as we have was we are this year. Um, we got almost, we almost won a point on Flashpoint, the third map. Mm -hmm. Be on that fifth point, it went to overtime to the last percentage. And it was crazy because it went it down to a basically 1v1 on the point. It was, it was kind of insane. It was pretty... I'm not sure what they got bribed with this time. I don't know if they got bribed. I know they got bribed a little bit. Like, hey, if you win, you get this. Mm -hmm. They were bribed with food last time. So They were also bribed with a scholarship That's last true. They time. were also bribed with a scholarship. <laughs> yes. But the food was the one for that last game. And they almost pulled it out. It was kind of incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
Maybe we'll see that again. I think maybe. it'd be cool if we saw that again. Maybe maybe Drake's vision will come true, if not even more. That minus the team comp. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. We'll see. We'll see. I I'd be great if they did, but I'm I'm not gonna lie, I don't have yeah. The utmost faith. I think we're good. I just don't know if we're that good, you know? We're getting there. We're get, we're, get, we're, get, we're getting there. We're working really hard. Um, I got to watch their scrim yesterday. It was very mm -hmm. cool. Very fun to see their practice of the rush comp in action. I think we might see a little bit of that. Being a part of the rush comp is it's pretty crazy. I believe that entirely. <laughs> I think it'd be chaos and fun, but it would also be a lot of work and a lot of brain, and I don't know if I have that. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I have that brain, but that is okay. Looks like we're finally getting people into the lobby. We'll see if we're gonna start soon, this maybe. persists. And somebody left. I think somebody on ASU also, might be having some internet issues there should be one thing mentioned today overwatch season 9 just started so there oh, are hero yeah. changes that we will see in this game that haven't been yes, played with that's before that's right and so both ASU and mine is going into this a little a little blind. I know that I saw that they were played earlier. I saw a lot of the mm -hmm. people were played getting used to or trying to get used to as much as you can in like four hours to these new changes. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure ASU was trying to do the same, but what are some of those changes? We have health changes, right? There have been health changes to most of the heroes. There have been um, like damage fall off. There's like ranges have been changed. Mm -hmm. There is a bunch of changes for the new season to a bunch of heroes. There is also changes to a certain map. Junker yes, Town. Yes, Junker Town. I heard about got those. Got a whole new revamp. Uh, I heard that there was a lot of changes that had been needing to happen for a long time that yes. finally happened. I heard there was some sight lines that were finally obstructed, making the map playable. Uh, especially that choke point at the gate. Yep. I heard that that got fixed a lot and is now not impossible for the offensive team to get through it yep, and it doesn't it take four minutes not just to that easy to hold yeah or yeah push through anymore there's a water tower built on one like in front of one of the windows so, right there was a whole new wall built on the left side by of, that yeah where by the gate is yeah and it then used to be like whole, crates right and then it started yes. to like stack cars and, and like then a sheet they metal. put in a big water tower to the right blocking that little yes, window yes that window up top by the gate yes. that yes up on the high ground i remember that um i saw something about it earlier today mm -hmm. so that that's pretty cool honestly so cool. this might be some of these players first time seeing how their heroes have been changed yeah which will be pretty interesting to watch and see how they maneuver around these yeah. challenges i do think that this might give us a little more of a chance at the at the end of the day to get a point or two it definitely but could I've also watched ASU, and they are incredible at adjusting. They're very good at it. Then again, this is adjusting gameplay a lot, so this could be very interesting. And it should be mentioned, there are now pretty much only three heroes that can be one-shot, which is Tracer, Baby Diva, and I am forgetting the last one. Oh, I've heard- I oh my goodness, I heard yes. this, I heard this. Oh. Oh, I wish I I wish I had a brain. Oh man. Yeah. I, I'm wish I, I could. think it's good that Tracer can still be one shot. This is good I'm pretty news sure to be. If you combo it well. Yeah. I think that's good because she is a little She's a little demon. She is a little bit of a demon and she is very powerful. She is. Uh if they had not balanced her in any way after this, that would not have been good. But I did see uh, a video earlier today that was showing the difference in projectile size. I was kind of like, they what? have. It's pretty much they expanded the hitbox. Yeah, it was kind of wild because 
I watched somebody go like shoot to the side of mm-hmm. somebody's of like an NPC head and I was just like oh that was a headshot that's kind of wild because that absolutely was, should not have been a headshot it is definitely going to change the game yeah yeah but uh we'll see what happens mm-hmm. hopefully hopefully it's still good hopefully these are all good changes uh we shall see let's see if hopefully blizzard executed this blizzard is trying to fix a, a problem that they created th- that yes. they created which was removing the second tank yeah they kind of they kind of they made a big problem with that it is they they made an oopsie they tried to change their game but nobody wanted their game to be changed yep oh yeah we can all right do anything more that you want to say about the update or anything um there isn't much about the update that i can necessarily remember or get into detail enough that's to that's fair it. that's fair um all right well i think we're gonna send it over to break until the teams are ready looks like we're having some troubles on the asu side so we will see you in a bit once we figure that out and the silence is so loud when you go i just stay I hope it's real. The 
Running through our core It's best to not feel sorry when it's over I will be the greatest that you ever seen before And I'll say It's a
empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off I am blind And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this overthinking Oh, 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 oh The more I swim, the more I'm singing Hello, we are back. We finally, ASU has finally gotten uh, their issues fixed. They have their fifth. So we are ready to start. We're starting a little late, but that's okay. Uh, we start with Control Point. We are on the map Lijiang Tower. It's so Control Point works where there is one point that both teams are fighting over. It's similar to King of the Hill. You fight for percentage, the longer you have control of the point, hence the name, the more percentage you get and the first team to 100% wins. So it looks like we have, ooh, we have a Brig. That's exciting. Oh, I love Brig. Brig right. on ASU side, yeah. on our side, it looks like we're going for more of a brawl comp. Which we have a Ryan, a Bastion, a Sim, a Bap, and a Lucio. Yeah, it looks like we've got some switches coming out from ASU, letting Mines get point control early, which I think is an interesting move. But I suppose if you can 
minimize. It does look like ASU is going risks. for more of a poke at the moment. Ooh, we've got a ball though, so I'm not entirely sure that it's. Is that still poke? Ball feels a lot more dive to me. You can do either or. I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, looks like it doesn't matter that ASU took a little extra time. I think it benefited them to take that extra time at the beginning to make sure they got their comps how they wanted them. Uh, and now they have point control. And Mines is going to have to sit back. Thankfully, it was kind of a team kill, which is kind of a blessing in disguise. Looks like they're starting to initiate the fight. Piggy went down. Zen did a lot of that work. Uh, J-Dog trying to... It did look like on the Bibber side. got a boop. That was a super early pulse bomb. Oh my goodness. Their Timber tracer has 12. been putting in the work. I think I think we have the uh, Aurora person in chat. Because <laughs> they apologized for taking so long. That's that's a little funny. Uh, your apology is accepted. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like we have a regroup from mines we have looks like they did TP on point and they did manage to get all five people before it was destroyed which is a very good thing for mines we've got piggy on soldier now i think trying to get some extra survivability uh we looks got like asu is trying to contest yeah viper did get one viper did get tracer which is going to be good for mines uh looks like viper is by himself though just gonna try and stall for a little bit of percentage yes. using the teleports to go back and forth out of line of sight unfortunately he is not able to do much and it does look like on asu side we're coming up on having four alts and then on the mine side it looks like we're coming up on three so it's pretty inter it's gonna be interesting on how they use those absolutely it's like we got a window from our side and a bob from asu so we're gonna trade alts a little bit but it looks like bob did a little bit more than window did yes viper getting booped straight into the enemy team he is going to go down bibber unable getting down. stuck on that window and unable looks to. like jack switched on to the ball probably to uh, counter definitely theirs. a stall i think trying to get back quick Arista doesn't have a ton of movement, so they had to got a Moira switch for quick, but unfortunately it goes down very it fast. It does look like Viper is now on the Sombra, probably to counter the ball. Yeah, I think that switch came a little too late. It did. I definitely think that, that was the case. I'm not sure if Mines could have done much after that but i think it would have definitely helped their survivability to get that ball and kind of screw the ball over a little bit but we should but we'll, we'll see what mines does to adjust uh mines is not entirely great at adjusting so we'll see what they do I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully, hopefully they adjust to this. Hopefully they take out the Sombra sooner. Mm -hmm. Oh, got a cute spray. I love the cute sprays. They're looks so, like they're, they're gonna so go with the Far Mercy on the ASU side, and it looks like we switched to more of a dive comp on the mine side. Um, with the Tracer, Sombra, and Winston. Yes, we swap. do have Sombras on both sides. Piggy going down early to Sombra, though. So, unfortunately, that is not going to be good for mines. Jack looked a little lost there, so I'm not entirely sure if he knew what he was doing or what was going on. But this Farah just being an absolute menace right now. I think Far got two in that last Far, fight Far and it's poking a ton of damage onto mines right now. Right Far now. is also huge for this bridge because that she Far does have the is deadly on that bridge. So it kind of forces mines to take the left. It looks like fight, but they're not Jack is wanting. contesting point at the moment, trying to secure it for mines from ASU. Lucio just kind of doing Lucio things, running around the point. 
But Lucy he is going to get chased down. He does get the health pack, though. Lucio will Lucio go, down, go down, which will be super good for mines. Uh, we've got Far getting targeted. Oh, Mercy separated. Could, could go down, but she does Looks manage like to recover. Far I just oh. used ult. We didn't did miss see anything it. from it, so this is good for mines. They they'll have a chance that, that does give they won't them have to worry hand. about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does give them an upper hand. A little bit. We do have three alts coming up for mines, and then we have about this. We're about the same on beat for both sides. We've got two, three alts coming out there because hamster alt also came out. Yes, it did. Along, along with, with Valkyrie EMT. and EMP. I don't think we used any fights in that. We did not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, got a good interrupt on the pack from it Angelic. Looks like Jack but is going to try to contest the point as the percentage is counting up for ASU. Jack Ooh, he does all. get the point. That ASU is going to be very good attention. for mines. This Mercy does go down. Which will be really good because that Far Mercy combo is dangerous. Um, I think ASU is going to kind of poke some damage here. Probably wait for a pick. Once they get that pick, they'll definitely rush in. They got Ball and Sombra getting close to the point. They are probably waiting to see what ASU is going to do here, trying to contest point. It does look like the fire does go down. Piggy go ahead and pops Pfizer, but goes down. Yeah, that is, that is that was not a particularly good one. But we did hack also ball. Looks like ball is going to go down also. That was a good good play from Viper. Viper is now going after the Sombra. Fara yet Almost. again uses her ult, but nothing comes nothing out of comes it. Nothing comes out of it. Looks like the Mercy got cut off from her Fara in that moment. But Viper did not pursue the other Sombra and is now going down for it. Jack is kind of hurting here, so let's just see if he makes it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Barbie Blaster Mercy with her wonderful pocket. <laughs> I Looks say like her is DPS trying pocket. to stall point here for the t his team to get back. And Bibber, Bibber does get on point with and beat. beat, so that'll help his survivability at least a little bit. Unfortunately, there's some bombs there, so he's going to struggle a little bit. He yes. got restricted severely on where he could go. He did. j Dog gets hacked, trying to get back on that point to stall, but he is not able to, and that will be the first game to ASU. Mines definitely put up a fight there once they kind of got in their groove. They definitely did. It took them a little bit to get into their groove, and I think these player changes are definitely at least a good part of it. But uh, I think they did pretty good for that. This ASU is, is a formidable opponent. This is what Piggy Power would say the first game jitters. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Exactly. So I think that they still have a really good chance at winning a couple games at least one game so i would predict at least one or two games yeah that's they that's, are, that's, that's kind of what i'm thinking they're gonna put up a tougher fight than they did last semester due to the practicing that they have been going through and oh, for the sure. comps they have been trying out um the new season probably is gonna change gonna that a little, bit. a little bit yeah yeah it's definitely gonna mess with things a little bit i think they've been practicing the rush comp because of how i think they've been practicing the rush comp in what's the word prediction that's not what i want but i'm going to say prediction anyway Pre mm -hmm. in anticipation of these changes that's the word i'm going for Good i job. totally i <laughs> word i can word i am proud of I'm you so for wording. Good at word thank you thank you <laughs> you are welcome i thrive off the praise from wording but yeah it looks like we're gonna have <laughs> i heard the i heard king's row be called scrim row the other day and i can't every time i look at king's row now i'm just like King, he scrim king's row. row is a very brawly map yes so we might be seeing a rhine or two here we might be true. 
seeing maybe even a May from Viper Ooh. or <gasps> they no, did put Wise Owl. Su- yes, I think so. It's we will Wise be seeing a May confident. from him. Yeah, I think it's because Wise Owl's May is better and more confident than Viper's May. So I think this is a good switch. I think it's good that Mines is adjusting early on mm-hmm. to this whole like meta and attempting to counterplay With prior to the game before they try it to try and counterplay while they're in the game. So I, I like these. I like these things. They don't normally do this. Yes. So this makes me happy. This makes me very happy. Yes. And Will gets a chance to play in the game. Absolutely. So this is a hybrid map. Right? This is a hybrid map, correct? This is a hybrid. Okay, thank so goodness. I hybrid? didn't want to say that confidently and be <laughs> wrong. <laughs> a hybrid map starts off with a point kind of like control point, and then you go into um, a payload map, which is you have a cart that you need to push through um, one or two points until you get to the end. Yep. Uh, this this one is a little different with the control point, though, because the defense isn't necessarily trying to get to 100% on it. They are. It's just the offense trying to get yes. to 100%, and the defense is just basically trying to stop them. The defense uh, is trying to make sure they don't get any yes. percentage points yes, on we that. We do have a mirror widow, which is very cool and interesting. We usually with King's Row, there will be widows. It's usually just to get a pick in the beginning. Oh, absolutely. And then they yeah. will st- swap right away. Yeah, that's about what I expect to happen, um, especially with these new changes. I would I, like to see if Piggy can widow diff this widow. Yes, I would love this. I would love it. So we'll have to be watching for those widow shots to come out. It does look like Wise Owl's May is going to come out and we are going to see it today, which is very exciting. This is very exciting. I I love seeing Wise Owl's May. They're going after That's the really Kiriko. Good. Kiriko gets life gripped. Jack does Kiriko not goes get down. the charge, but Kiriko does go down to Wise Owl anyway. Mine's taking a pretty good stance on the control point so far. Jack is having a little trouble with his aiming on Ryan right now. I think he just needs to get back into his Ryan groove from the other games. Yes. I mean, he's been playing a lot of Junker Queen recently, so I think he's just kind of needing to kind of rest back into on it. Those there, Ryan that was skills. that was better. That was a lot better. It does look like Picky Power did swap off of the Widow and now onto his main character. So sure. So we have a Mauga coming out for ASU. That's an interesting pick, I will say. Malga can be a counter to Ryan due to the amount of damage he has, which is why people tend to play Malga into this King's this Row. This makes a call. lot of sense. Kiri no Suzu, so that might be something Mines pursues. I'm not sure, though. Looks like they might... Kiri not. just did use TP, so they might try to capitalize on that. Yes. We've got Malgas on both sides now. I think Jack may have switched. Uh, ASU did just Malga use sites, so right now mines are just trying to be careful and not peek corners to give ASU any of those early picks into the fight. We are seeing a Malga duel here. Sadly, Wise L gets caught in the middle of that and does go down. We've still got that Kiri up top, and who is they do. being quite a menace, but. I know that Xander has been kind of watching. Ooh, that's a dangerous spot for Biver, but he managed. He he does not risk that sight line again. And he <laughs> he absolutely leaves. Piggy is trying to go Ooh. in with the sojourn all to see if he can get any picks. We've got this. It looks like there is a double cage happening here. Jack does go down. But thankfully, the rest of the team is able to clean up and kill ASU's supports. Ooh, Jamin does get bibbered, though. We've got a couple snipes coming in from Wise Owl. Double D just hiding, trying to keep his team healed a little bit. But there is a Kiri there. Or oh, not Kiri. Oh, it was Ash. Oh, that was a good shot that from was Wise a Owl. Good on that, snipe there. On that Ash there. Wise Owl has been doing a lot of work on this He does have Blizzard, so they are going to probably look for a Blizzard moment uh, right definitely. now. Definitely. Probably to help see that. contest and get they onto second point. They might wait for... Whoop. Oh, it looks like he did use his ult. 
but unfortunately it did not get anyone did give them some space though so this is there is a iliari behind that they're trying to they've got to test they gotta make sure to break that pylon sometimes they get too focused on the hero and don't uh break the pylon yes but asu gonna kind of charge into mines because they don't have wise out kind of went off by himself to try and go get that irari and i think it Kinda, it did cost them. It cost them a good bit. Double D getting taken out right now. The Idiari going in with the flank at the moment on ASU side. But it doesn't get too much. Double D does manage to live. Uh, Double D is close to alt though, so we could see a window here coming out soon. I'm not sure if we will. Maybe. I think they, they might, might window the around the corner. Yep. Oh, yep. Or that. <laughs> it does look like Ash did throw out the bob from behind. Ooh. Thankfully, they, they were take able down to. Bob, but it only got the DPS. But it does look like they're able to probably get point here, as long as they're able to get Jack that Ash. Does not want to. Does not want that Ash leaving. Or that Kiri. The Kiri kind of taking him down by herself. She did a lot of work on that. That she was kind of incredible. <laughs> I sometimes forget how deadly Kiri's kunai are. Her kunai and are pretty powerful, especially with now the new hitbox changes and everything. Yeah, that's what I was. That's kind of what I was thinking because they definitely did a lot more than I was expecting. I think it definitely had to do with the size. If you're already good at aiming and then you have that size addition, yeah. that could be It does look like the Widow does get taken Ooh. down early into the fight. That was a good pick that from Piggy. That is a path cage from ASU. That also, is a dangerous, that is a very dangerous that is, alt. That is a very dangerous oh, combo man, with and that, that cage and with a Captive Sun. That kill. That was, that was crazy. That was a little crazy. They kind of just dumped alts into that. They did. That was Path, Cage, and Captive Sun. So yeah. So I mean, mine is very much up on alts right now. They are going to have a bob soon, but mines will have uh, overclock, blizzard, path, B, and maybe even possibly cage. Yeah. Into this next have fight. Some good possibility. It does look like Jack may go in for a change or to even just group up with his yeah, team. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to group up with his team. Which I think is a good move. Kiri looking to poke some damage. This Kiri plays super aggressive. Definitely relies on that TP a good bit. Looks like Kiri does go down. not a good idea. That Bob was thrown out from ASU but, but is easily taken down with the Malga fast. on mines. Mines is going to have to make sure they get this last push really carefully because they don't have a lot of time. So I got to make sure they stay on this point. It does look like ASU is trying to flank mines at the moment or even just get out to go group up with their team and recontest point. That was another blizzard from Wise Owl. Sadly, Malga was able to charge through it. But it did give them some good space, so they might it be able give to them enough space keep to push space. In. But unfortunately, that pylon is doing a lot of healing for ASU, and they're just not. They're just dumping alts to end this round. So looks like mine's got one hundred and fourteen. 0.1 meters so they did get pretty they that did get pretty, pretty far pretty good that was pretty good uh considering asu just dumped alts on them the, every yes. time they had like multiple they just dumped all of them at one time which is hard to play against it is it's very, very hard, hard to play against because it gives you like a total reset you're just like <sighs> wow <laughs> I feel like Mayans might have a chance here, especially since ASU did give them the upper hand that last round due to letting them con uh, cap point I pretty quick. I do agree with this. I think that if Mayans is able to hold them on that cap, they have a good chance. Even just for like a minute. Yes. If they can hold for a minute, that would be phenomenal and that could really give mine a fighting chance for on this game and i think they could still take this because they still did really really good 
on that last they game. did do good um they had a second game jitters <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Anyway, as you were saying before I rudely interrupted with the funny chat message. I don't remember. Well, that's fair enough. I should I I should have <laughs> You are perfectly that. fine. Yeah. Ooh, we got Junker Queen at ASU and we got the we keep the Mauga on mine, which is an interesting choice. It is very got interesting. Kiki on Ash. We do have a widow, but she quickly switches to Ash. Looks like we've tr It we're is good some that we here. do have a Kiri against this comp though, especially for those Ana Antis and that Queen all. Oh, absolutely. Which are very much so counters to Malga, especially with his overheal 100%. ability. 100%. That overheal ability keeps him alive a lot. Ooh, that's a good Suzu coming out. Jack One thing playing corner a little that bit. Mines does need to be careful of, though, is if the Ana does anti when Queen around has alt to make sure to save that Suzu for a Queen alt because it will yeah. do more damage. Absolutely. Looks like we got a quick cap from ASU as well. So Mines is going to be in a little bit of a tough spot. I still think they can do it, but they definitely have to put in a lot more work now. It does look like ASU is currently pushing up in Mines right now. To make sure they don't try to go contest that point. Yeah, they will have noted that that anti was used. Ana going down so fast. It does look like the switch to Zarya was a very good play for I Mines here. I agree. Jack plays a mean Zarya, so he I'm does for very sure. excited to see how this plays out. I think Junker, I think Zarya is a good option against Junker Queen kind of poke damage and she has to be pretty close in order to do much she does so sadly I zarya does go down on mine side it does look like bibber is trying to contest cart but gets slept and then gets killed that was rough that was rough that was rough that was a really good sleep by asu yeah Zana there and and bibbert is putting that in chat that was a, a good sleep I like when teams are still nice to each other. It makes me very happy. That's what I like about the Overwatch community is they're it's majority yeah. nice than other games. Uh, <coughs> Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that. <laughs> That'd be crazy. It does look like mine go ahead and uses the bob, but they do use queen alt to contest it. It looks like they also used window and overclock on the ASU side. I think they're really, they wanted to pour these alts in so they can try and get either all the way or Jack did mostly. switch the ball to get that early contest so his we team can have time have to come back. We also have the Moira coming out. They do. Moira is my personal Bibber favorite. Bibbert sadly goes down and ball along probably with him. The rest of the team did get there. Blizzard was thrown but canceled. Ooh, Piggy Wiseau. on the some Sojourn does get hacked, but that does not last long, and that will be it's a second game going to ASU. ASU only needs one more game, and we'll be on a flashpoint map next. So we'll see how this goes. I'm excited. Ooh, another Sojourn, shocker, shocker. It's a really good character, and this was a really good play. I remember this watching was this. an amazing play. And then here you can see the Ana go ahead and yep. sleep Bibber. Yep, that and was sadly he does get executed. That was by unfortunate for Bibber. That was Man. a very good sleep by their Ana. Oh, absolutely. That Ana kind of went crazy. Not gonna lie, went a little crazy. It was kind of cool. Did. I love seeing really good Anas. They're just they're so fun to watch. They're so it's fun to watch. It's like very mystical to see. It's very magical. It is. It is. To it's just see them do a three sixty and sleep someone. <laughs> <laughs> I know that reference. Uh, yeah. No, Anas. Anas. Good Anas are fun to watch. Good autos are really fun to watch. Anas, I love yes. watching good autos. It does look like auto. they did switch in Viper for Wise Owl, and mm -hmm. they are going into 
a new map here. Yes, they're going to New Junk City, which is always a fun one. I like this map a lot. We, we play this map fun. often. Yes, I like this map. Uh, so New Junk City is a flashpoint map. I'm giving you the background before we even get into the game. Isn't that so cool? I'm so good at my job. But yeah, <laughs> this is a flashpoint map. Flashpoint maps are basically five control points. They do tick faster, I think. They do. There's, yeah, they do tick faster, which means that they still take about the same amount of time, but they are... There's a lot of points, so there's a lot of mobility that you want for this to switch to different points, but you also do not want to sacrifice your ability to defend, because this map in particular has a lot of choke points. It definitely does. Especially on this first point, like, to get into this area in any way, shape, or form is a choke point. To get out of this area in any way, shape, or form is a choke it point. It is pretty and much... And even once you're in the area, there's still choke points. Flash points, especially this map, are a game of who can get there first. <gasps> Do I see a Moira? I hope that Moira stays. I love Moira. Moira's my favorite <laughs> character. Sadly, the Moira is on ASU's side, though. That's true, but still. <laughs> I don't get to see Moira's very often and I think Moira is a great character and I know that I get a lot of crap for liking Moira the amount that I do but I'm very excited oh my goodness the Moira is staying this makes me so ha this makes me stupidly happy I should not be this happy Ooh, a nice aggressive it damage it does orb. look like they do have Viper on Junkrat currently at the moment which is his best character so let's see how that plays into ASU I hope it goes well for them their so does down go down pretty fast ja J-Dog is currently hurting and does go down Double D will also go down Bibber is just trying to Bibber contest. Bibber to stall for a little bit, but unfortunately is unable to do so. Ooh, we've got an aggressive Moira. Oh, this makes my heart so happy. <laughs> this makes my heart stupidly happy. Trying to get some preemptive damage. Does look like damage. ASU is going in on mines at the moment. The Lucio does go down. Which means that they only have more pushing heals, up pretty far. Which could be interesting. It could be okay. But it might also. It matters on how much damage can that Moira get in time for her team yeah. to get the healing. But Moira was very separate from their team, so they didn't have a lot of. Mines is contesting point at the current moment. ASU is trying to hold on. Piggy's gonna go up to that high ground, try and keep that. ASU uh, ball is low contested. at the moment. The Moira is currently flinking Piggy, who sadly goes down to the ball who pursued him when he was low that was really good target focus for asu that was really good communication because you definitely know that moira had to communicate it because that ball was not paying attention to piggy up there he was getting hurt and he was not being paid attention thank you for pizza two man zero i hope i said your name right for the subscription you missed the betting well sorry that's an l for you <laughs> we totally did that, so don't Moira worry about it. Moira does go ahead and do pop coalescence, probably to get that extra damage on mines. And Bibber does go down to coal. You have to be careful if you're a squishy character on when you Going see him on coalescence. opposite Moira coalescence. Oh my goodness. There's no shot. There's no shot that that person just did that. That's cringe as frick of you. Does look like they do got an early, they did get an early pick on Viper, but did trade their Moira in the process. I think that's a fair. It does even look like trade. at the current moment, Mines is winning this fight. Ooh, Sadly, Piggy goes Piggy down goes down to overclock on the other side, and Jack gets stuck Pulse. and gets flung off the map. I spoke too soon. Yeah. Viper just trying to poke some damage. Double D just sitting there. That was a phenomenal trap. I'm, I'm so sad that he went down so fast because that could have been so good for mines. Double that G trap. is just trying no. to regroup with his team and get out of there. <laughs> they wanted him. They definitely did. Z Panther going it down does to look J Dog's like Jack ult. did get there. Lucio with his ult. They are currently trying to push point. 
I don't think Viper got anything with his alt, unfortunately. He did not, unfortunately. I know that Viper sometimes struggles with that, um, cause he sometimes, since it's his good character, he sometimes forgets team play Jack a little bit. Jack is hurting and his supports are being focused by the ball at the current moment. Ooh, and that Jack does go the, down. Yeah, that mix of the Sorjorn gets picked off by the Moira. That mix of the Sorjorn and the ball just he couldn't keep up with that. It is a, good a lot orb of from Angelic. It's a lot of damage. Man, this Moira gameplay is so good. <laughs> They're doing so good on Moira. Like I I Looks like Lucy was trying to go ahead and boo. Oh, and I think he got it. No, he didn't. He did not get Bibber. Bibber got but Angelic did finish Bibbert off. In fact, they did. All right, we've got two flash points to ASU. So Mines has got a reverse sweep if they want to win this game and continue with the series. Let's so let's see, see if this how happens. Mines we've handles. got Overclock coming out from Piggy Power. It does uh, look like we had an Arisa swap. I think it's to try and counter the ball because I don't think it he was is. out. I think Hopefully we might see a Sombra from Viper soon maybe to switch on Sombra probably to I think that would be that a ball. really good idea. I'm not sure if they're going to though. I think they might want that damn that Viper's doing. I'm not sure. That is very true. Thank you, Ikey Fuzz. It for does look like they're kind of being focused at the moment by ASU. Yeah. I think mine's getting their heads a little bit and struggling because of it. They're getting cornered into their spawn, and ASU is just getting so much percentage. It does look like we did get the Sombra swap from Viper, which is probably good to they help with the ball. That. I think they probably should have done that a little bit sooner, but. He was probably Hopefully waiting they, for an alt. That's that's fair. Or something to see Maybe. when to swap. It does yeah. look like they went ahead and used paths to probably just help with the spawn situation here against ASU. I would guess so. Unfortunately, that is going to be a lot of damage directed at J Dog, and he's going to go down. And sadly, they do not have time to contest point. No, that is going to be the third point. Going to ASU. And that will be the series. That that was a good game. Mines put up a fight. I think that they needed to <gasps> Ooh, Moira played the game. Sorry, let me finish my statement after this. I love Moira's. Ooh, that was good. That was good. I love I love Moira. That was a good orb too. Did you see mm -hmm. that? Usually with Moira good. orbs, you want to try to bounce them off to something too. Oh, absolutely. They can go yeah. where you want. They are very yeah. tricky to use. One hundred percent. Thank you, CRJ Pumpkin, for subscribing. That's so cool. We are for a year on a hype train. I know they've subscribed for twelve months. They're currently on a one month streak. That's so cool. That's so incredible. But yeah, it looks like that is the game. So unfortunately, mine did not win. It went about as I predicted, even mm -hmm. though I was trying to be really nice. I was really trying <laughs> to be nice. But it did go about as I predicted. AU is a pretty hard team to ASU go against. AU is a hard team to go against. They know their stuff. They are not ranked yes. 11 <laughs> in the nation for nothing, as it's pretty clear to see but i do think that mines did a lot of good things especially on that king's row map i think the wise owl switch was phenomenal it was a fantastic fantastic play it did help them on some points there it abs it absolutely did one so we should do our sponsors real quick uh that would be omnitech blue peak Live Hospitality, Lenovo, and oh, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. Uh, 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 oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, 
Is it? It's on the back though. No, Under Armour. Oh, Under Armour. Yep, that's that's the, the other, other one. <sighs> the other tech. There's another tech. Under tech and link tech. Oh, that's right. That's right. Those are both <laughs> ones. Okay. On the tech, Link Tech, Under Armour, Lenovo, Live Hospitality, Blue Peak, Intel. 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 That's it. Intel. I missed that one the first time. Those are our sponsors. We appreciate them a lot. They make this whole thing possible. Uh, so they are very cool. We like them a lot. If you would like to, f we'd love if you followed us on socials. Uh, you can find that by doing exclamation mark socials or it'll be put in the chat right about now. It'll be put, the exclamation mark socials will be put right in the chat. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. There's a delay. My bad. All right. Well, we have a we have a two minute hype left of our hype train, but I think that we are good for the night. You guys have a great rest of your night. I'm Hale. I'm Y. And thank you for joining us. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>